Hey, what's going on here, guys? It's Bad Hawks here again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to repair a flat repair. So first, what you want to do is you want to jack up uh, whatever vehicle you got, either on the pinch weld or basically wherever a jacking point is. Um, for this car, we're going to be doing on the we're going to be doing it on the pinch weld, and uh, I will show you right down here. As you can see, the jack is right there on the pinch weld. And that is actually the uh, perfect place to jack up a vehicle, or the proper place to jack up a vehicle. Uh, next thing you want to do is remove the lug nuts to take the actual tire off, um, which we have done here. After that, you're going to want to um, put it in um, the dunk tank, which if you don't have a dunk tank, you can use a, a spray bottle and just uh, fill it with soap as long as you can see where bubbles are coming out that's what you want to make sure you can do um, at our tire factory we uh, actually just use um, a dunk tank and as you can see bubbles are coming out right there which is where your hole is at uh, in these holes it could either be a nail or um, it could just be a hole as you can see right here it's actually a nail And then you're going to be able to take it out with either vice grips or we actually use these pliers or these wire cutters that actually work very well to take out screws. Then basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, uh, grind the rubber with um, uh, basically with any tool that can pretty much just uh, melt the rubber down so you can actually uh, lay a patch on top of it. See he's basically just grinding the um, rubber down, melting it down so you can actually uh, put a patch in the proper place. Because if you don't grind it down then you're going to leave uh, air pockets and then eventually uh, the patch will fall off or it won't work at all and then you'll have to redo it and that's not fun at all for anybody so basically what he's doing is he's um, scraping all the uh, rubber off so that way we can put glue on there And as you can see, he is applying a blue glue is what we call it. And basically what it is, is it's a really strong compound glue that actually will stick to a patch and um, stick to the rubber at the same time. That way your patch will not fall off at all. Um, we're giving him a universal 110 patch, which basically it's it can pretty much go on any radial tire, but... Uh, it's basically uh, how big the hole is and ours was somewhat big and we wanted to reinforce it so we put a 110 on there. And then you always want to make sure you stitch it down with something. Um, right now he's stitching all the corners, he's going side to side making sure that that patch will not fall off um, no matter how much pressure is on it. All right. And basically that's how you uh, patch a tire right there. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to put the tire back on the wheel and air it up as soon as we're done stitching. And stitching is just basically to get rid of any of the air pockets or air bubbles in there. So, all right tires back on. Now to test the final thing you're just gonna put uh, soapy water on that little uh, square right there where the hole was at and if it's not leaking any bubbles, if no bubbles are popping up then you are good. Alright well thank you everybody this is Bad Hawks here bringing you a special thing of how to repair a tire when a nail punctures